Hello, everyone. I'm Yoon Ji Kim from Jungang University, and I'm grateful to present to you our work, Sensor Viz, a visualization tool that supports novice makers by visualization sensor information at each stage of the prototyping process. On behalf of co authors, Juni Ju, Mihor Travedi, Dishita Traya, Ngai Hangu, Donghyun Go, Michael Wesley, and Stephanie Miller from MIT CSAIL. To understand sensors' behavior, makers can conserve each sensor's data sheet. However, extracting information from a data sheet can be cumbersome and confusing since the sensing information may be buried among the chip design, schematic, and other technical aspects. Alternatively, makers can physically explore what sensors can sense by wiring them up. However, this comes with its own challenges since makers have to buy different sensors upfront to test which one works best for their prototype. They have to write code for each sensor before they can start assessing if the sensors are suitable. Further, the sensor data is either represented as printed text in a terminal or as a graph in a plot tool and not as special information in 3D. To address this issue, we propose SensorViz. SensorViz is a visualization tool that supports novice makers during the different stages of prototyping with sensors by visualizing sensor data alongside the prototype geometry, both in a digital 3D editor and via an AR overlay. Makers define the position of their sensors by placing them onto the 3D model of the prototype. When makers change either the model or the sensors, they see the sensor visualization update in real time, which allows for interactive exploration and fast design iteration to decide which sensors to use, how to lay them out, and how to adjust the model geometry. Several tools visualize information related to electronic components. However, these tools do not show special information to help makers place sensors on prototypes. Another body of the research explores situated visualization. Though there are tools for prototyping in the situation by providing augmented tools, these tools do not support electronic components. Several works explore how to support makers in better understanding what sensors can sense when placed on a prototype by visualizing special sensor data. However, the work uses predefined graphics and is set up as a learning environment and not for prototyping. A maker shared the difficulties of estimating what sensors can sense if a prototype has not yet been built. In addition, makers pointed out that the shape and size of the prototype geometry impacts sensor choice and placement. Those issues are related to the reprinting time. To lower complexity, makers try to use a few sensor but avoid the blind spots. And most of all, makers struggle to read data sheets when selecting sensors due to the complex information in various formats. Sensor Viz offers a 3D visualization directly from the data sheet that enables makers to get a special understanding of the sensor's range and the functionality in the early stages of prototyping. Sensor Viz helps them to explore which sensors are most suitable for their prototype, how many they needed, and where to place them by visualizing information from the sensor's data sheets, such as the mean max range, field of view, and resolution in the 3D editor together with the prototype. When makers change the position of the sensor on the virtual prototype, the visualization automatically updates in real time. Sensor Biz also displays how well the sensor cover a specified sensing area. Makers define the area they want to sense, Sensor Viz then computes the intersection of the sensor's field of view with the area. To support makers in evaluating their prototype in context before physically building it, 
Sensor Viz provides an AR overlay that can be displayed using either a tablet, smartphone, or head-mounted AR display. The AR overlay shows the virtual prototype, the virtual sensors, and the corresponding sensor visualization. To support makers in testing if their physical prototype works, SensorViz provides makers with functionality to visualize live data. Makers select the sensor in SensorViz and choose the port from the which the Arduino is streaming the sensor data. When SensorViz receives live data through the port, it visualizes it in 3D visualization. SensorViz also allows makers to record data first before visualizing it. This can be useful for prototypes for which data collection may take a long time or that require data collection in the wild where makers do not have access to the 3D editor. The recorded data is then saved as a file. Makers can replay the recorded data using SensorViz to see it visualized. By replaying different parts of the data, makers can test how well the prototype works across different interaction scenarios. To facilitate adding new sensors, we built a sensor database builder. It's targeted at expert makers who are able to understand the information from the data sheet and supports them populating the database by specifying the required data that should get extracted from the data sheet. Once a maker added a sensor to the database, it becomes available in the SensorViz 3D editor. The SensorViz database can be shared with other makers by copying the JSON file that contains all sensors and the inner files that contain the code for each sensor. These are the examples of visualizing various sensors live data. To automatically create the visualization and visualize sensor information in a coherent manner, we created a library of visualization primitives that can be composed into more complex visualizations for various sensors. Here you can see the temperature sensor visualization and the wind sensor visualization, both in 3D editor and augmented graphics. This is the pulse sensor. These primitives represent non-special and special data using attributes such as dimensions, range, resolution, fill, and texture information. SensorViz provides a visualization that combines the three individual axis measurements into one directional vector. And where appropriate, SensorViz uses color to facilitate makers' understanding of the sensor data and to help makers avoid mistake. Finally, metaphors can help maker assess what a sensor is for and if it works as expected. To see how sensor bees help makers, we conducted a user study. This picture describes sensor bees evaluation study setup. Participants were asked to build a smart lamp that can automatically turn on and off and direct its light toward the user. The lamp we gave participants already consisted of a robotic arm as the stand to orient the light and a ring-shaped LED strip for turning on and off the light. Participants were asked to extend the prototype to add four features. The user study results showed that all participants completed the task within 120 minutes. Overall, Participants in the sensor base group were faster than the baseline group with an average completion. Sensor base participants achieved a target sensing coverage of 32.1% versus the baseline, which achieved 12.8%. For selecting an initial set of sensors to start the first prototyping round, participants in the sensor base group were also faster than the baseline group. 
Also, we found that there was no difference in how accurately participants in both conditions placed the light and the temperature sensor. In summary, for the special distance sensors, sensor based participants achieved 252% higher coverage as in the baseline condition, both for the non special light and the temperature sensors, there was no difference between sensor bees and the baseline. Finally, participants who used sensor bees placed sensors 190% faster than the baseline condition. Our user study showed that. Sensor bees speeded up the prototyping process by minimizing trial and error in selecting and testing sensors. For the non-special sensors, though there was no significant difference between groups, still participants appreciated displaying the sensor data next to the sensor. Also, there is the opportunity of the assisting users in collaborative prototyping and preventing late model changing by enabling users to modify the prototype geometry in the 3D editor while seeing the sensor visualization. In this paper, we discussed the results from our formative study with 12 makers that showed makers experience difficulties when creating prototypes using sensors. We then demonstrated how sensor vis addresses these challenges by visualizing information from the sensor's data sheet, overlaying sensor information, and providing live sensor data. We discussed how our library of visualization primitives together with our sensor database builder allows makers to add new sensors. We then reported results from our user study that showed that sensor bits significantly reduced prototyping time while also enabling makers to place sensors more effectively in a way that they cover a larger portion of the target sensing area. For future work, we plan to improve the system by automatically parsing data sheets and enabling changes in the sensor layout directly in AR. Thank you for listening.